Vlogmas. Good morning, good morning, good morning, my beautiful friends. It is a new day. Hi. I didn't get very much vlogging done the last couple days because I haven't been feeling very good. I had a sore throat, I had a bit of a cough, and that got me a little worried because I had a bit of a fever yesterday too. But uh, I did a COVID test, it's negative, so I think it is just a uh, cold or flu. <laughs> You know, now that we're in the panini, I keep, I think we forget sometimes that there is a cold and flu season going around too. So I didn't sleep much last night because of that, but I got ready today. I feel great. I took a couple Advil for the body aches. And, oh, and my cat has been like absolutely crazy lately. He has so much energy. Like I feel like every couple days he just hits like a new milestone for his health and he is absolutely mental today. Getting ready today, I was watching Taylor's stream. It's so good. She's pregnant. It's one of my favorite vlogs. I started watching her back when she was vlogging from Japan and now she's gotten pregnant. So it's really cool to watch her journey and her story in Hong Kong. It's Taylor R on YouTube. I don't know if you guys watch her channel yet. I'd be interested to know what your favorite YouTube channels are actually because my algorithm keeps pointing me to more of the same and I would love to know what you guys watch so I can open up <laughs> the types of videos that get recommended to me. Good morning, good morning, good morning. My beautiful friends, I am under the weather, yay! Uh, so just hibernating, hermiting. And for me it's like, oh great, you're building momentum on your stream and your vlog, great, now you can get sick. <laughs> Whatever, here we are. So sorry about for these vlogs not being too crazy, but I hope you've been enjoying um, couple days of throwback videos and um, some stream highlights so yeah appreciate you guys yo what's up I don't know what day it is day a lot <laughs> still sick um, but the chills and the fever is gone now I'm just left with a lot of coughing body aching. I just got a really sore body and I'm just tired. I got, here's my sick stuff. Manuka honey drops, these have been really nice on my throat. Got these things, Umka cold care. I pretty much just got what I could order at Whole Foods. Been drinking a lot of honey and ginger. I'm taking my vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc. Um, coming through it, you know, like the chills sucked and the fever sucked and the like lack of sleeping sucks but like today I feel a little bit better. I'm definitely progressing through the symptoms. Yeah, trying to get my old content out in December mixed with Vlogmas and then in January gonna be new me, new content, so trying to get anyone that's not interested in my me and my content unsubscribe and then new people to come in that care <laughs> yes <coughs> my YouTube channel is uh, not seen anything much for the past few years so we back baby hope you were enjoying oh my god this is so much worse doing it to yourself that's better there you go all right come in here <laughs> okay, that stuff gets mixed in a solution and then it gets dropped. Now we'll see my lines. Wait. The blue, the blue line means you have COVID. No, no, no. I had the blue line before, didn't I? No, you I? didn't. You had the red one that's about to come up for you. What's the red one mean? That the test is working. Got tested for COVID and it came back positive. So even though we tested when we first had symptoms, it was negative and then it came back positive. Interesting thing though, two years ago, I flew from LA to Canada and I was feeling really bad fever, chills, body pains, aching, coughing, like my skin hurt to touch. Any body pain I had was just accentuated. Pretty much the exact same symptoms that I had this past week, only it lasted for two weeks um, with the chills and the body pain and stuff like that. And that was 2019. And 
we had no idea that COVID was existing then. Then when I tested the little blood prick in April of 2020, I had antibodies. So I had COVID two years ago in 2019 in December. I went to Canada, I was around my family. Like we had no idea COVID existed. I just thought that I was a flu and I like chilled. <laughs> and it's just like so crazy to me that like this just confirmed it for me because I was, at first I thought the antibodies could have been from something else, but no, I totally had COVID two years ago in December. Um, and that was in between LA and Canada. I'm starting to feel so much better today. Oh, and it feels great, so yay. My fever uh, lasted till yesterday. So they say to wait three days until after your fever is gone before you go out into the world which I respect, obviously, and I'll make sure that I have a negative test, too, um, before I go out. So here we are. Kristen, full recovery mode. <sighs> relief, I feel a lot of relief right now. Um, I'm still a little bit weak today. I've been like spending the day reading and watching TikTok, eating mandarin oranges. Um, but I really, I'm gonna take this time to focus and make some videos for you guys about my productivity and my structure and my schedule which <laughs> is so funny to me the universe has humor because i was so gung-ho about my new schedule and my new structure and my new productivity and i was in the flow making content for you guys every day and then like what five days ago i was like oh no <laughs> i have symptoms of something i am sick i have brain fog i can't do this I'll film some Notion videos and some of my eye calendar and why I structure what, when, for what. So if you guys are looking at bringing more creativity and structure into your life, I know they go together, they go hand in hand. I'm learning about that. Guys, I just am <laughs> vlogging. Wait, I'm, just, I'm not vlogging. I am vlogging, but I'm in a meeting with Ashney. Ashney Christ on Twitter. Yeah, we're sharing calendars right now. I was like, I just wanted to vlog this because this is the nerdiest shit ever. We just finished a really good, inspiring call, but then now we're like, okay, let's get down to productivity. <laughs> I'm gonna make some tea and I'm gonna make some chaga. We have this ground up chaga. Oh, some mushrooms. Yummy. Hi! I'm back! Yay! I'm feeling so much better the past couple days. Healing on the mend. The only thing for me now is um, my sense of taste, which is totally gone. So, and my sense of smell. But I am ready to get some work done today. Uh, everyone keeps telling me after you're sick, you should be really patient on yourself. And that's great, but I'm ready to get back into things. <laughs> the only thing that I'm gonna let myself do today, I did my morning routine, breath work, some meditation, and now I'm gonna watch 14 Peaks on Netflix. It's like I've had like so many of my friends recommend it to me. It's just my type of vibe. Okay, nothing is impossible. I think it's 14 Peaks, nothing is impossible. So it's called on Netflix. So I'm gonna watch this, so I'll let you know what I think of it. And yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying the old footage. Again, this is just an experiment for me to get in the habit of recording and filming again and building stories again and posting them again. Um, and then getting in the flow with Holly too to bring you guys some epic stuff for the new year, so hope you're just doing good. Love you. Hello, I'm at my desk. I finally had the energy to upload some footage and do some voiceovers. Yesterday, uh, we did a lot of packing in the morning, but oh my gosh, guys, I just, that movie I told you about earlier, 14 Peaks, was so good, so good. If, after you finish watching this video, if you have an hour and 40 minutes, get together your loved ones and go watch that, because it was so, inspiring 
I loved it. The New York Money Heist Experience. Wow! Yeah, we opened December 9th. Who built it? I did. <laughs> cool! You're that guy. You're that guy. Uh, built that. that? Guy. Built wow. That. Yeah. How does it feel? It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Proud of you, babe. Thanks, babe. Can't wait to get some footage from inside there. <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go see one of them. Yeah, I'm gonna go. It's gonna be great. Luke needs some extra stretching. Oh. Ooh. Oh, is that a butt I feel? Yeah. Oh, ooh. Is this helping? Oh, this is, yeah, wait, keep going, that's great. <laughs> Brain fog, which I think is the worst thing for me because I'm someone that really enjoys and prides myself on thinking quickly and speaking quickly and understanding things. But now I don't have that little chatter that exists above my thoughts all the time, which is just a mental thinking. I don't have that as much anymore. <laughs> I told Luke and my mom is like kind of a gift like now I just like lay in my bed and play with the cat I can lay in my bed and play with the cat for an hour and not have any thoughts and it's honestly a nice break from my hyperactive brain um, but I'm just hoping that this doesn't continue to last because I love thinking and analyzing things but we're recovering it feels good drinking lots of green juice taking a bunch of different supplements and um, just being patient. I think that's the biggest thing with this. So we're halfway to actual Christmas, so when I get my negative test I and recover from COVID, I'll be able to go back to Canada and spend holidays with my family, which I'm really looking forward to, and get to see Yuri and have all the Christmas festivities that you guys are looking forward to this month. That's also gonna happen, it's still early. You know, we got this one out early in Vlogmas, and hopefully you guys enjoyed all the videos that Holly's been posting from the records. And I'm really looking forward to the new year to keep the vlogs going in a regular timing of uploading content as it happens and entertaining you guys and taking around my adventures and figuring it out in real time. Love you. Thank you. Love you. Enough about being sick. If you guys have questions about it, what I went through, let me know in the comments down below. I'll answer them in the next video. But back to regular programming. I'm going to be giving away a $100 Amazon gift card to you guys to buy the gifts of your dreams to you and your family. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on every one of the Vlogmas videos. I'm gonna be going through and randomly picking winners. Yeah, I wanna give back to you guys for the holidays. And then on Christmas, I'm gonna be giving a $500 gift card. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to spank that like button and subscribe. It helps out the channel greatly and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.